Welcome to the blissful ice cream and coffee parlor. My name is Sam. How can I help you? Brilliant. It's been quite a quiet afternoon, so it thrills me to see that you have quite a large brood. So is it ice creams, ice lollies, or coffees, or is it a bit of a mix? Okay, perfect. Well, I think I have a few things that come to mind that are a little bit special. How about, for a start, we just look at the coffee menu and the ice cream flavours that we've got on today. Some are a little bit They're really nice. Some of my favourites. I have my little blackboard here with some coffee listed. We have a latte at two pounds and forty pence. A cappuccino at two pounds and sixty pence. An Americano at one pound and fifty just a straight up espresso for one pound and twenty pence and finally a hot chocolate a hot chocolate for two pound and seventy pence so a latte is shots of coffee with soft silky milk soft silky milk Cappuccino is shots of coffee with thick and foamy milk, thick and foamy. An Americano is coffee shots with hot water topped up. Usually you'd put a little bit of milk on top, a little bit of cold milk, or if you're in America, coffee creamer, coffee creamer, creamer, which we don't use here in the UK. Never use some, it's my lifelong dream to to use that. An espresso is somebody that's pretty hardcore and likes to drink straight shots of coffee. You amaze me. And then finally we've got a hot chocolate. Hot chocolates are meant to be soft and silky milk, similar to a latte. Now it's not on the board, but we can do a mocha, which is a shot of coffee and a shot of chocolate with some nice soft silky milk to make it a mix of the two. This is my personal favourite. I like coffee, but I like coffee in the, you know, subtle way. As in, I like it. A tiny bit of coffee, a lot of milk, a lot of syrup and a lot of cream. Yes, we do have cream. We have whipped cream. Cream, cream, cream. We can squirt some whipped cream on top if you really want. Okay. So you'd like one hot chocolate in a in a takeout cup, okay? And you'd like a latte to have in. Okay, that's no problem yet. We have some seats just outside by the window. Okay. Let me just go and make those for you. Let's make your drinks. So first off you wanted a hot chocolate. You get the hot chocolate pot. Pop that in the coffee head. And turn the dial to the hot chocolate. So take a takeout cup, right? Takeout cup. Pop that there, and just press the button. There we go. Give that a minute to just make. Perfect. That's all done for you. Put that to the side. And now it's time for the latte, right? And is that with whole milk, skimmed milk? Put out there and just pop in a 
new latte Turn this to the latte setting and And you want that in a mug, right? In a mug Cool, let me pop that in Press latte There, that's all done. Would you like any sugar in here? Yeah, we've just got some white sugar in here. Okay. Perfect. That's your drinks. All done for you. There you are, your latte. Let me just pass that over. We've got some seats just out front there. You're welcome to sit there and drink your coffees and have your ice creams for as long as you'd like. That's no problem at all. Okay, shall we start to take a look at some ice cream flavours? How many is there? One, two, three, four, five. Five ice creams. Okay. Well, let me get the menu. I do tend to change my flavours quite often but today some of my favourite sweets run here so this is blissful ice cream two pounds a scoop so to begin we've got key lime pie then moving on to mississippi mud pie then we've got bubble gum, which personally I absolutely hate. Then we've got honeycomb crisp. Honeycomb crisp. Then we've got straciatella. I hope I said that correctly. It's like an Italian flavour. Straciatella. Then we've got praline and cream, which is my personal favourite. It tastes like a Then we've got clotted cream. Clotted cream. And clotted cream is, I think it's a British cream, which is very thick in consistency. It's usually served with scones on a cream tea, so it's quite a cornish flavour. And then finally we've got mocha, which as you could probably guess, is a personal favourite of mine. So you have a think, let me pop this down. So here we have the ice cream counter with all the flavours we discussed, plus the cones and the toppings. I'll just give you a quick closer look so you can see for yourself. So in terms of flavours, here's the key lime pie, then we've got the Mississippi mud pie here, then we've got the bubble gum right here, honeycomb crisp, straciatella, praline and cream, clotted cream, and mocha. And then for toppings, we have rainbow sprinkles, whipped cream with cherries, chocolate sprinkles, strawberry sauce, with real strawberries, chocolate syrup, and caramel syrup. And then finally, we've got the options for cones. We can have either a chocolate cone, vanilla cone, or a tub with a spoon. Whichever you'd prefer to you have your ice cream in, okay? So, order number one, please. You want Key lime, bubble gum, rainbow sprinkles. Is that in a chocolate cone, vanilla cone, or a tub? In a tub. Okay. Let me get preparing that for you. So we'll start with our tub for this first order. And then our ice cream flavours. 
we'd like a key lime pie. So let me just go in and grab key lime. Then I'll scoop that into the top here. Perfect. Next, you wanted bubble gum, right? Just sit that on top of the key line. There we go. Two perfect scoops. Next, you wanted rainbow sprinkles. Add the rainbow sprinkles and sit that on top. There we go. Oh, sorry, it's already melted. We've got key lime, bubble gum, and rainbow sprinkles. Okay. There you go. Order up. Key lime, bubble gum with rainbow sprinkles. Ready. And I've popped a little wooden spoon there so you can enjoy that easily. Okay. What's the next one, please? Okay. Chocolate cone mocha ice cream and whipped cream. That's a really good mixture, just to check. You're not going to find that a little bit sickly with the cream. Okay. Some people come back and say it's a little bit thick, but I'm glad you're excited. Let's get preparing that. So, a chocolate cone this time. Very good. And a scoop. Just the one, right? Just the one scoop. Just the one scoop. Make sure that's nice and round. And you'd like whipped cream with a cherry on top of that. There we go. To be honest, I was a little bit unsure about this flavour combination at first. But now I see it. I really think it is quite delicious. Doesn't that look absolutely delicious? I personally love whipped cream. I prefer it straight from the can, but you know, there you go. Okay, what's next? Ice lollies. Yes, of course we've got ice lollies. We have six, one, two, three, four, five, six, six on show today. I have a little menu here. Mm -hmm. Let's just take a quick look. So we have a twister at one pound twenty pence, strawberry milkshake at what's that? One pound and sixty pence. Oh, one pound twenty. Quite cheap. Lemon and lime. Lemon and lime. It's a lovely refreshing one. That's just a pound. Choco split at one pound fifty pence. A fab for two pounds ten. Pretty expensive. Then finally we've got the cookie sandwich at two pounds fifty. So there are your options. Let me just show you what they look like yourself so you can make your choice. So first is the twister, as discussed. Beautiful, light and refreshing. Really nice for those that like fruity flavours with a bit of a creamy filling. Then we've got the fab, which goes without saying it's a British classic. It's got creamy topping with strawberry middle and lots of chocolate sprinkles which are just so so tasty. Then we've got the cookie sandwich, quite luxurious, it's got a very creamy chocolate chip filling, it can be quite sickly so I would recommend sharing this, if you're not into sharing this probably isn't the one for you. Next we've got the strawberry milkshake, 
really creamy and for those who like the really really intense flavours and sprinkles of course my personal favourite lemon and lime it's just zesty, juicy those refreshing citrus flavours it's like a glass of lemonade and then finally we've got the choco split which is just a plain sort of a vanilla -y base with a frozen chocolate drip and a couple of chocolate chips sprinkled on top great i hope that helped you make your selection here you go here's the fab as requested you'd, you'd like another one you'd like two uh, two ice lollies just to be certain you'd like a fab and a twister just for the one person you'd like to. Just checking. Here's the twister. Enjoy. It's very refreshing. As you probably know, enjoy both of those together. Okay, now you've made a dent in my ice lolly stock. Would you like anything else? I notice there's still one, two of you without any. You want a three stacked cone, three scoops. Okay, perfect. So a vanilla cone, straciatella, honeycomb, and pralines. Okay, that's a lot of ice cream flavors with chips in praline chips, honeycomb, chocolate chips. You're fine with that. You want chocolate sauce on top? Okay, that's fine. That's doable. Let me begin preparing that now. Next you want this vanilla cone. Vanilla cone. Starting with, which was it at the bottom again? That's it. Stressiatella. Let's get that in. Perfect scoop. And then on top of that you wanted Honeycomb crisp. Okay, let's get that on next. Two perfect scoops. And to finish this giant ice cream with praline and cream. Just look at this. And you want a topping as well? Chocolate sauce, okay. There we go. Beautiful. It's gonna be very tall and melt fast, but I believe in you. <laughs> this is the biggest beast of an ice cream I've prepared all day. <laughs> it does look quite appealing, I can't lie. Okay. There you are, quickly before it melts before it melts. Now, you've got one more order left to make. What can I get for you? So as a reminder, we've got key lime, Mississippi mud pie, bubble gum, honeycomb crisp, straciatella, praline and cream, clotted cream and mocha. You like Mississippi mud pie? You're a rich chocolate fan. You like chocolate that's quite rich and dark in flavour. Mm -hmm. And clotted cream. Okay. And strawberry sauce. That's quite a mix of flavours. Essentially, chocolate, a vanilla kind of ice cream, and a strawberry topping. So it's almost like a Neapolitan style thing. Lovely. Let me pop the menu back. Preparing, I can see I've got a line of customers out the door, so I need to make this quick and concise. So, one final top, and you want Mississippi mud pie, Mississippi mud pie, Mississippi mud pie. And clotted cream.
beautiful. And what was it on top again? Ah yes, strawberry sauce. Perfect. And I assume you need this spoon. Take that and enjoy, sweetheart. So, is there anything else? Or have you got enough to be going on with? Perfect. Well, I will leave you to it. Feel free to use our seating outside, our public spaces for as long as you may need. And please come back inside and ask me for anything else that you